All right, everybody. Today um, we'll uh, go through something different. All right, um, this is going to be a little bit more educational, so there won't be a lot of exercise involved. Although we will discuss that. So um, what I want to talk about today is uh, Wolf's Law, and that um, in that in a nutshell is uh, bone remodeling. All right, so uh, Wolf as in Wolf of a double F, not as in canine howling at the moon wolf all right um it was named after julius wolf which who was a german surgeon in the 19th century and he developed this theory all right so um bone remodeling okay to start off with um how does bone remodel itself and how does it work okay so you have your bone healthy bone all right now um Wolf's law states uh, that any mechanical stress on a bone will cause it to adapt to that stress. So, uh, you, for instance, just like muscle fibers, you will exercise. It'll, there will be small incisions in the fibers, and then um, new cells will develop, and hypertroph hypertrophy takes place. Bone is very, very similar. So, there is mechanical stress on the bone. All right. So essentially what happens is the bone breaks down all right how does the bone break down okay there's these cells called osteoclasts so now to make it easy for everybody um osteoclasts basically are uh, imagine little lego workmen uh chiseling down on your bone and getting rid of old bone that's your osteoclasts okay to make it easy all right now as the um bone breaks down you get the osteoblasts and now these are different workmen that come in and they lay the scaffolding and they start building up the bone again all right that's your osteoblast building new bone all right and then finally you will get your new bone all right now um bone remodeling is something that happens as soon as we are born um in our first year of life we 100% of our skeleton changes through bone remodeling. Um, but um, as we age, the process tends to slow down. And then obviously things like a sedentary lifestyle and not putting enough load on the bone can uh, slow the process, process even more. Now, there is this thing called osteopenia, which is um, the reverse of bone remodeling, Wolf's Law. It's the same, similar to the term I used before called sarcopenia, which is the breakdown of muscle. If it's not being used, similar happens to bone. So it's just this whole process uh, in reverse. All right. So um, the bone just keeps on breaking down. Now, um, who is this important for um, to keep in mind is for people who have, uh, especially women who have osteoporosis, who have um, due to a lack of injury have, will have developed brittle, brittle bone uh um with age all right especially after menopause um this can happen so how do you make sure that um you keep on remodeling the bone it's through exercise specifically um specifically resistance training all right that is um anything whether it's body weight calisthenics or rubber bands or um lifting weights things like that that can help with um, bone remodeling all right also weight bearing exercise such as walking and jogging is also very important and um, you can also add that all right um now uh to what I'm not going to go so much into the type of resistance training. I mean, we I have shot videos before. My minimalist training video is uh, still out there. So uh, you can go take a look at that. And um, it tells you all about your basic sit to stand or deep knee bend or squat, um, followed by a push or a pull, whether it's a push up or a type of a press with weights. You can do that. And um, you essentially only really need those three for resistance and then um, to improve upon a load, you can obviously, you know, add your repetitions or increase the weight over time. Uh, walking and running is, I mean, those who don't run 
should walk. Um, walking on broken terrain is really, really good for bone, bone remodeling. So, you know, get out there and go do a hike at least uh, once a week and um, make sure you walk often and walk with purpose. Um, walk briskly. All right. So those three things essentially will uh, speed up uh, bone remodeling and will keep your bones healthy. Um, diet is also important. Uh, getting enough calcium in is very important. We know now that, um, you know, dairy is not always that great. So you can get your calcium by means by eating your greens. Make sure you get the regular greens in. And um, that will help with new bone re reformation as well. Um, so, yeah, in a nutshell, um, this is how uh, bone remodeling works with the osteoclast breakdown old bone and the osteoblast that um, uh, help to rebuild the bone, okay, on a cellular level, all right, to make it easy. Just imagine the little workmen with the hard hat, all right? Um, exercise regularly. Use resistance training, especially women. I know a lot of ladies out there don't always um, want to do resistance training for the fear of that they're going to get big muscles. Honestly, don't stress with that and uh, keep your exercise simple and do a lot of weight bearing exercise. Um, so if you have any questions regarding uh, Wolf's Law and bone remodeling, please post them in the comment section or in the chat box now and we can go over them. Anything not right now. All right. Okay. So um, please stay tuned. We have um, upcoming webinars where we... Um, try and discuss things like this and make it a little bit more fun for you as well to understand more about um, injuries and um, how injuries work on a physiological level. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, otherwise, have a great day and uh, please don't uh, forget to like and subscribe to our social media.